Shalom, Kal Hala, Yehawah Ba'ashim, Yehawah Shah, Waha Raka Kwidash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yehawah Shah, and all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. The Most High is raising up the house of David, the true house of David here in these end times. Now, the house of David of old was a house filled with warriors, all right, which was physical warriors, which we are still warriors being raised up here in these end times as the house of David. But as the scripture says, we are being raised up a spiritual house this time, all right, and we are to what? Stay in the spirit and stand in the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is not to be carnally mind all right the, the book of romans chapter 8 and verse 5 it says for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit and we being spiritual men the spiritual house of david we mind the things of the spirit of yahweh yahweh shot and not the things of the flesh all right such as we see on display these other israelite camps all right in their ignorance, displaying uh, things of the flesh, you know, or depending upon the flesh, being carnally minded, or not being in the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, being that spiritual house of David, because they're putting their trust in uh, weapons, all right, which is the blessing that Esau Edom received, which is uh, the form of, of the modern day sword, all right, such as a gun, okay, or, you know, putting their trust in a mask in, in, in the time of this uh, coronavirus, all right, not having a spiritual mind, which is having faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. That's uh, uh, minding things of the flesh, thinking that a emergency ration, all right, which is supplies stored up, can help you in this physical famine that's, that's coming ahead, all right, which is a lack of bread and water, all right. Those that trust in the spirit are going to have faith and trust in Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and not mind the things of the flesh, all right? Once again, Romans 8 and 5, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Verse 6, for the for to be carnally minded is death. And all of those things that a carnal mind person would uh, would do, which is uh, invest in all of their faith in, in physical things and not things of the spirit, all right, it leads to death, man. You know, it says, but to the spiritual minded is life and peace. And those that in these times that we're living in, in these times that we're finna face, which things are going to get worse before they get better. Those that have a spiritual mind, all right, them by having that spiritual mind, which is trusting and having faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and not kernel things, that's going to lead to life and peace. All right. Verse 7, it says, because the kernel mind is enmity against the Most High. But see, the Most High will test you, all right, to see if you're going to have faith in him in a lot of situations. And if you uh, be kernelly minded, that's that's warring against the Most High. That's having uh, hostility against the Most High. That's being opposite of the Most High, which is being uh, in the state of having trust and having faith in, in, in physical things and not just uh, the strength of the Most High through His holy angels protecting you in these times, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither can be. All right, quick precept: um, the book of First Corinthians, um, chapter two, and verse fifteen. It says, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at 14. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high. So a natural man is not gonna have that faith to believe in uh the most high sending his angels to protect them. He's gonna believe in his gun to protect him, all right? He's 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 gonna believe in uh kernel things to help him to to survive. Now, you must have wisdom, all right, and you know store up on a little water and, and food, right? But know that 
that food and that water is not going to last that long. All right. So you're going to have to have faith in order for that food and water to be replaced or for you even just to make it in the time of total chaos when everything is 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 warlike outside of your front door or brought to your front front door because these are the times that we're living in these are the times that is about to happen to the virgin daughters uh daughter of america uh, of babylon should i say Salakia, which is america all right first corinthians 2 and 14 again but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high which is faith okay for they are foolishness unto him all right it's foolishness for we saying that we're putting up our treasures in heaven by doing this work, all right, teaching the nation of Israel to be covered in these times. That's foolishness to uh, two-thirds, those that uh, being a part of that natural man, uh, you know, and not receiving the things of the spirit, okay, which is really warring against the Most High because he's putting his trust not in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He's putting his trust in kernel things, all right? That's foolishness unto a man if you tell him, that the Most High is going to protect me in these times. You know, he's going to send his angels to protect me. You know, that's foolishness, all right, to a colonel man. It says, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. And a colonel man cannot receive things of the Spirit, you know. And the Scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians 2 and 15, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man, verse 16, for who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of the of a Mashiach. So by having the mind of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, that's, that's being of the Spirit, all right, and not being currently minded. And by having the mind of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, we, we're, we're going to be pleasing uh, to the Most High. Okay, let's jump back to... Romans chapter 8, and we'll read verse 7 again, because the kernel mind is enmity against the Most High, all right, it, it is opposite of the Most High, it is, it is hostile against the Most High, it wars against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither can be, verse 8, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High, and that's right, they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High, all right? Verse 9, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of a Mashiach, he is none of his. That's right. If he don't have the mind of a Mashiach, he is, he is none of his. But we have the mind of a Mashiach. Uh, Isaiah 53 and 1, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the hand of the Lord has been revealed unto us through the mixture of faith. All right. By, by us receiving and hearing the word through a mixture of faith, all right, we we uh, have been made spiritual men, that spiritual house of David, all right, those spiritual warriors. Verse 9, it says, but again, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. So if be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you, now if any man have not the spirit of a Mashiach, the mind of a Mashiach, that spiritual mindset to trust in the, the, the will of the Most High, all right, that he shall protect you and have his angels round about you in the time of trouble, all right? Now, if any man have not the spirit of a Mashiach, he is none of his. You shall not be protected because you are putting your trust in carnal things, all right? And carnality, what leads to death, all right? So those that uh, are, are of the flesh cannot please the Most High, but those that are of the spirit, shall please the Most High. And how shall they please the Most High? Um, the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, and verse 6, and it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High. So without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High. So you must have faith to please the Most High. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And how do you believe? Through the gift of faith, which shall and, and is a gift to the Most High. It is given from the Most High. All right? It says, For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you must believe that the Most High is going to cover you, and not those kind of things in these times that's about to happen to the, to the virgin uh, uh, daughter of Babylon, which is America. 
all right? Because all out anarchy, which is uh, uh, without law, it's, it's going to happen to the soils of America. Men are going to take the law in their own hands, all right? It's going to be uh, total chaos upon the soils of America, all right? Very, very soon, okay? And those that diligently, diligently seek the Lord is going to be rewarded, meaning the angels of the Lord are going to protect them, all right? And that's having a spiritual mindset. All right, and knowing that this is how you this this is how you please your how why you have a shot through faith. All right, uh, the scripture even tells us in Ecclesiasticus, all right, also known as the Book of Sirach, chapter two, and verse ten. It says, "Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord, having faith in the Lord, and was confounded." Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon his name? All right, so the answer to those questions is no one. If, when we look at the generations of old, all those that abided in the fear of the Most High and trusted in the Most High, all right, never was confounded. They was always delivered out of diverse situations. All right, those that the Most High ordained to be delivered. And, and truly feared him and truly had faith and was not currently minded, all right? And those that called upon his name, which is having faith in those names, all right, which is the names are the, the strong tower and the righteous shall run unto it, and the scripture said, and is safe, roughly paraphrasing, they're not going to be confounded. See, that's having a spiritual mind, all right? Because the scripture tells us uh, in Isaiah 33 and 6, where shall be the knowledge of, uh, so like it, what shall be the stability of thy times? Isaiah 33 and verse 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So that's how you're going to be able to stand in these times of, of chaos that shall soon come on the soils of America. All right? Not be currently minded, man. Not depending upon your gun and emergency rations and, and everything of the flesh. Right, but having faith in you, how why you have a shot that his angels shall guide you and protect you in these times. All right, and it begins with this knowledge and wisdom that keeps you sane, that, that you won't bug up because you're aware of what's taking place. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Stability is something that what keeps you standing. All right, and those times are what the times of Jacob's trouble, the times of total chaos that's coming to the swords of America and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is his treasure. That's right. That knowledge and wisdom and understanding is going to be the strength of your salvation. All right? Because you're going to move in wisdom and true knowledge. You're going to be protected and guided by the delight. Protected and guided by the angels. All right? And, the, and you, you're going to have fear of the Lord. All right? And those that have fear of the Lord is going to not be carnally minded. They're going to be spiritually minded. Having all faith in Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. That's going to be your treasure. That's going to be your valuable. In these times to come. All right. Uh, the book of Psalms 91. And verse 1 it says. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Let's read that again. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place. What's the secret place? This true uh, wisdom and knowledge. Which shall be thy stability. All right. Those that dwell in that secret place. It says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Why is it considered as a secret? Because it is hidden uh, from those uh, that were not meant to get it. All right? Uh, the scripture tells us, uh, uh, for the nation of Israel has seeked for something that he have not found, roughly paraphrasing. All right? Only the elect have found this secret place, this hiding place, this place of protection. All right? This knowledge and wisdom and understanding. The supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide, all right, shall tarry, shall lodge under the shadow of the Almighty. And what's the shadow of the Almighty? The protection, which is this truth, man. Knowing what's taking place, why it's taking place, and what to do, which is have faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, that he shall send his angels to protect you in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. All right, verse 2, it says, I will say of the Lord, and this is those that have their spiritual mind in these times. They're going to say, I will say of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in Him will I trust. And no kernel things. All right? 
which leads to death. That's having a spiritual mind, trusting in Yahweh Yahweh Shah to deliver you in these times, making Yahweh Yahweh Shah your refuge, your place of protection, all right, from rain or storm, you know. And that's ultimately those 200 million missiles that shall hit America, all right. That's the, that's the ultimate uh, time when you're going to need protection, all right, or a place of refuge or not to be currently minded because there's nothing you're going to be able to do currently to save yourself. It's only through the spirit of Yahweh Yahushua dealing within you and you having faith in Yahweh Yahushua to deliver you in these times. You know, so we want to be what? Uh, not currently minded, but spiritually minded at all times because carnality or being in the mindset of being carnal or depending upon the flesh shall lead to death. But those that shall depend upon the spirit and that spirit brings about faith and that faith is going to be in Yahweh Yahushua sending his angels to deliver you and protect you in these times through wisdom and knowledge also, you're going to be delivered, all right? And that's having a spiritual mind in these times, and that's the mind that we must pray for, uh, a heavy increase of that, most highs will, you know. But Lord willing, I pray that this was edifying and that this made sense. Call halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwidash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall awant. DTA Wa Abad Babal.